Whether you keep up with the Kardashians or totally tune them out, pretty much everyone knows that the famous family is rich. And they're certainly not afraid to flaunt it. From swanky toilets to baby birthday balloons to Postmates, here are the most ridiculous things the Kardashians are spending their millions on. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! My god, I'm gonna get <laughs> Hold on. In January 2020, Kim Kardashian took to social media to give fans a tour of her and Kanye West's kitchen, showing off everything from their multiple pantries to their frozen yogurt machine and fully stocked toppings bar. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my fridge. But fans were particularly captivated when Kardashian revealed their five refrigerators. Each seemed to serve a different purpose, but one in particular was just plain ridiculous. Kardashian walked fans through their restaurant-style walk-in fridge, causing quite the stir on social media. Fans tweeted things like, Your fridge is bigger than my house. And you're telling us there's a supermarket in your house? The Daily Mail previously reported that the couple even own a sixth fridge that's covered in Swarovski crystals, clocking in at a whopping $1 million worth of kitchen appliances. I hear a little baby! Ever wonder how Kylie Jenner spends her millions? On her adorable daughter Stormy, of course. In April 2018, Jenner and Travis Scott's daughter was only a few months old, but was already repping high-end designers, specifically a Fendi stroller and a matching outfit for Mama to go with it. Strollers are already an expensive item for new parents, with the average cost clocking in at hundreds of dollars. But Jenner, who Forbes once called the quote, youngest self-made billionaire, unsurprisingly took that to a whole new level. Teen Vogue reported that the stroller cost Jenna a whopping $12,500, plus $1,100 for the coordinating mini dress. Kendall Jenner's 2020 house tour gave fans a peek inside her $8.5 million Los Angeles home. The tour was full of custom art, a 300-pound sink, and tons of designer clothes. At the time, the Daily Mail reported that some of the art pieces in Jenner's home could be worth upwards of $500,000 and possibly even more. I have always wanted a James Trouse. It's actually called Scorpius, and I'm a Scorpio, so... But while Jenna may be a budding art collector, fans couldn't help but notice her giant gold bathtub. The Sun reported that Jenna dropped over $52,000 for the piece, but it sounds like she gets some good use out of it. She told Architectural Digest, I get a lot of love for my gold tub. I'd say at least three times a week I'm in this tub. It's my favorite ever. But bath time accessories aren't her only splurge. In 2016, Jenna blogged that she had purchased a $52,000 couch, adding, It's a large woven nest. It's all woven and a really groovy navy with purple shimmer. You gotta check out this bathroom. <laughs> Whoa. Kendall may be luxuriating in her gilded tub, but Kim and Kanye's flashy toilets might just be the most ridiculously expensive item of all time. In 2013, the Daily Mail reported that while redecorating their Bel Air mansion, the couple spent a whopping $750,000 on, quote, four gold-plated toilets. While this may seem like literally flushing money away, according to Celebrity Net Worth, these two are reportedly worth about $4 billion together. But despite the custom upgrades, in 2015, Forbes revealed that the couple had already listed their home for $20 million, noting, The paint barely dried before they had a change of heart. The couple then moved to an even bigger 16,000-square-foot home in Hidden Hills, California, just minutes away from momager Kris Jenner's latest digs. For Kim and Kanye's daughter Chicago's first birthday in January 2019, Kris Jenner gifted her granddaughter a $3,650 limited edition Louis Vuitton music box. Many people probably didn't know that Louis Vuitton even made music boxes, but the Kardashians seem like they'll buy just about anything with the designer logo on it. This is so fancy! Kim, of course, took to her Instagram stories to show off the gift, but fans were quick to react, with users commenting, does it need to be a Louis for a baby, though? Still, none of that has stopped the Car Jenner fam from continuing to spoil their little ones with nothing but the best. They may be the most hustling family in reality showbiz, but when they get some downtime, this gang goes all out. 
Whether they're renting private jets, private islands or shopping till they drop, they spare no expense. And in August 2019, Radar Online reported that Kourtney Kardashian spent around $1 million on a trip to Europe with her three kids and some friends. While a couple of weeks of food, hotels and airfare could definitely put travellers out a few thousand dollars, an insider dished the scoop on how Courtney managed to spend much more, telling the outlet. Between the private air travel, security bills, five-star lodgings and shopping splurges, Courts spent a fortune. I'm more, like, chill, and so are I think you, when you... No, no, are you on crack? But Courtney did take a moment to publicly express her gratitude for being able to fund the experience, posting... Feeling overwhelmingly grateful for the past few weeks spent together in Italy and so in awe of God's creation, there was nothing for me to do but cry happy tears. Fans who follow the Kardashians know that they really do it up when it comes to parties. In April 2019, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson's daughter True celebrated her first birthday with an elaborate celebration, complete with unicorns, butterflies and a ton of balloons. I have been thinking about her party for months and months and months now. All About Balloon CEO Katie Byrne, who didn't design True's party but has helmed events for the White House, spoke to People about Chloe's setup, noting that there were multiple arrangements, including a wall that had over 2,000 balloons and multiple arches that had around 300 balloons each. Byrne claimed that all of that probably cost Chloe somewhere in the realm of $8,500 and was likely deflated by morning. Fans of Rob Kardashian may not know that he has a very spendy hobby, collecting rare trading cards. In October 2020, TMZ reported that Rob went on a late-night shopping spree at his favourite store, The Bullpen in Los Angeles, where he reportedly bought a case of cards, which comes with around 20 boxes. It's unclear exactly how much he paid for the case, but according to TMZ, these things can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Why would I joke with that? I don't joke with that. But it looks like Rob's recent purchase paid off. As part of the collection, he came across multiple top-notch finds, including an insanely rare Tom Brady card. Multiple outlets reported that that particular card could possibly be worth around $250,000 if it weren't damaged. Shortly after the news broke, the bullpen shared a snap of the card on Instagram, where it appears to be in perfect condition. In 2017, TMZ reported that Kim secretly bid on and won a very expensive timepiece belonging to former first lady Jackie Kennedy. At a Christie's auction, Kim supposedly bid $379,500 on Jackie O's personally engraved Cartier watch. Kennedy had received the piece as a gift from her brother-in-law in 1963. But while money clearly isn't an issue for any of the Kardashians, Kim may have overpaid for the item. I don't get it! The auction listed the estimated sale price of the watch at anywhere from $60,000 to $120,000. Kim's winning bid was well over three times the expected selling price. TMZ reported that Kardashian planned to wear the watch, even though she, quote, vowed not to be flashy since she was robbed in Paris in 2016. Just in case you think your Postmates bill is getting too high these days, Kylie's activity is about to make you feel a whole lot better about your addiction to ordering in. Back in January 2019, Postmates revealed on their Spotlight series, The Receipt, that Jenna reportedly dropped around $10,000 on 186 orders over the course of a year in 2018. According to the series, most of Kylie's orders were placed around 10 a.m. and she often requested items from grocery stores like Ralph's and Bristol Farms. Hey, if you're Kylie Jenner, you certainly don't stand in line at the grocery store. Her typical purchases ranged from high-end items like a roughly $160 bottle of Don Julio and Yeo 1942 tequila to extremely cheap items like a single carrot. According to TMZ, apparently she needed the carrot for some matzo ball soup she was making and couldn't be bothered with making a run to the market. But Jenna wasn't just ordering for herself. She would often pick up the entire tab for a photo shoot crew, which would sometimes lead to up to five Postmates orders a day. You did great, another one for the box, kid. <laughs> now you can feel better about that Starbucks you don't feel like going to get yourself. Sometimes when it comes to selecting the perfect gift for a loved one, you simply must take the gag gift route. 
and even the Kardashians, who are known to spend thousands of dollars on each other, are here for a funny present every once in a while. But in keeping with the rest of their spending, their silly gifts are a lot more expensive than what the average person would spend on a ridiculous little present. In June 2019, Kim poked fun at sister Chloe's single relationship status after her breakup with her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Tristan Thompson. Kim decided that Chloe needed a little, um, eggplant in her life and gifted her a limited edition $4,500 crystal-covered Judith Lieber purse in the shape of one. And while that probably seems like a lot of money for a tiny clutch that can probably only fit some change and maybe a lipstick, for the Kardashians, money is obviously no object. It's not even Chloe's only luxury bag from the designer. Kim shared the eggplant purse on her Instagram stories and played into its obvious connotations, writing, I just thought it was really fitting for her, and she loves it, guys. So she's definitely getting some eggplant for her birthday. Yeah, I mean, I think my wish for Chloe is just to have so much fun and just live life. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.